On March 4, 1928, the Rarex finally left Tibet after their challenging expedition. Their caravan, consisting of 155 yaks, horses, and camels, took a lengthy, roundabout route through lesser-known southern districts to avoid populated areas. Despite assurances from Nagchu's governors that the border could be reached in 28 days, the weary expedition took almost three times longer. During their journey, the Rarex stopped in Namru to collect a travel permit and a letter requesting local courtesy. They were denied permission to visit Gyantse or Lhasa and continued on their way. Entering the Du Ring Valley, they discovered megalithic ruins reminiscent of standing stones in Brittany's Karnak region. Rarek later claimed connections between ancient Tibetans and Goths and Scythians in various newspapers. Although the weather improved, the party's mood did not. Worries about their health and impending departure weighed heavily on them. They faced challenges navigating the Himalayas, with faulty maps leading them into dead ends and causing delays. Frustration peaked when they demanded extra provisions for their animals in Bumpa and were refused. Rarek responded by arresting the village headman at gunpoint, but the nearby militia overlooked this incident and allowed them to continue after a brief rest. On April 25, the Rareks reached the Brahmaputra River and crossed it by ferry. On May 6, they arrived at the Shikar Dizong Citadel, which overlooked the route to Nepal. Finally, on May 18, they reached the Sikkim border, with George bidding farewell to the harsh land and inhospitable rulers. Safety was just ahead.